I'm now ready to begin to demonstrate to you on how to use the straight fast ceramic comb. Um, I just recently washed my hair. I just washed my hair, uh, towel dried it, <clears throat> and uh, I don't use blow dryers. I go straight from washing, towel dry, put my oil conditioners on that I'm going to use to press my hair with. And then uh, once I do that, uh, I will let my hair dry enough to get all the moisture out, uh, the, the residue out. But I like to do my hair when it's soft because with 4C hair, if 4C hair dries for me, I can't do anything with it. It's too tight. It's too kinky. So I like to let my hair be somewhat soft. Uh, that's why a lot of people are saying, well, you pulling the comb through your hair too many times. It's so many times. And, I'm, and I apologize. I did not explain to people. That's because I had just washed my hair. I don't blow dry my hair because blow drying, number one, it damages my hair. And number two, it just makes it really, really difficult to um, work with my hair once it gets too dry. So now you can see my hair is really moist. I'm going to... Um, just kind of use this comb here to fluff it out a little bit. And then I will show you how the ceramic. I'm using two combs today. Uh, first, I'm using the straight fast. Uh, I'm using the straight fast ceramic comb. Uh, and I'm also using uh, the straight fast high heat. Both of these are high heat combs. This is the brass and this is the ceramic. So that you can see how both combs work uh, and decide for yourself which one you think is um, you like the best. Uh, I only have a limited supply of the straight fast uh, ceramics. Uh, I just ordered enough for customers that were asking specifically for it and a few extras. So if you want this um, ceramic comb, you better get it when you while you can because. Uh, quantity is very limited until I can get some more produced. Uh, I'm just mostly kind of testing the market before I order a large quantity of them, but I have had a lot of people ask for them. First thing as usual, you use a cotton cloth, something like a towel. Uh, always check your comb before you use your comb for the first time. Make sure that it's not too hot uh, before you run it through your hair. What the towel does is it reduces the heat of the comb. Uh, so if you see any brown or burnness on your towel, uh, that means your comb is too hot. You need to hold it or keep rubbing it in between the towel. Just keep rubbing it in between the towel and that will reduce the heat of the comb where you can use it. Uh, as with the regular ceramics, to me, um, they don't get quite as hot as the brass combs do. So, and I like that. And these are really wonderful um, in combing your hair. You can see there's some steam coming from my hair uh, because my hair is still very damp. Not really damp, but slightly damp from uh, washing it. And you can kind of hear the, you know, a little bit of uh, sizzle with it. Make sure your hair is dry and that there's no extra residue so you don't um, risk the chance of some steam or something burning you. Get your hair dry um, before using the combs. And as you can see, this is the ceramic comb. And this is how it works. Another person mentioned that I was not using the combs uh, like I should be. And I, in my last video, I was mostly demonstrating the process of detangling your hair. Just using the combs to detangle it. Uh, not necessarily for straightening uh, the hair. These combs do get hot. This comb is a 60 watt comb, just like any, the same wattage as a um, high heat uh, flat iron. My high heat flat iron that I have is an Andes high heat comb and it's a 60 watt and these combs are 60 watts. 
the same thing. So uh, for the people who uh, have something to say about uh, not using the comb properly, the last video I mostly was showing people just demonstrating how to detangle the hair, how to use it as a pick. Uh, for someone who may not want their hair 100% straight, who may just want their hair blown out. Um, you can straighten. It's not, it doesn't get it as straight as a pressing comb because of the wide spaces between the teeth. Um, what I do, and most people, they use this comb strictly for the purpose that it was designed for, which is taking your hair detangling it and getting it to the point where you can use a flat iron if you want it straighter using a pressing comb and I mentioned that in the last video so I'm trying to address a lot of the things and by the way I do appreciate all the information that people are sharing with with me uh, and their comments so please continue to comment and advise in any way you can't get a product uh, 100% unless you hear from the customers as to how they like it or don't like it. So please keep your comments coming and if there's any suggestions that someone has, then please let me know. Now that I've uh, gotten this side detangled, I'm going to put this one to the side for a little while. Because with natural hair, your hair does pull a lot of the heat from the comb. So you need to give it time so every now and then to reheat back up. Just like with any other uh, styling utensil. I have to do the same thing with my flat irons. And, and even my pressing combs as well. Okay, I'm going to take this side a loose. And now I'm going to um, use the... Um, the brass comb. Now, like I said, the brass comb gets a little bit hotter, slightly hotter uh, than the ceramic because it doesn't have a coating on it. So, here's the brass comb, and I'm testing it. It's pretty hot here, so I'm going to rub it for a little while uh, in my towel to make sure that it does not. Uh, that it is not too hot for my hair. Just kind of hold it here for a little while. It's got some grease on because it's been sitting there for quite a while uh, before I got ready to use it. Okay. You can see this one does get pretty hot. Okay. But it's not burning my hair. That's just uh, smoke from the steam that's coming out of my hair. See, it's drying my hair um, just like a blow dryer would. And you'll notice I'm not going deep. I always start at the ends and I work my way uh, within. It's just about dry now, especially on the front where I've been working. And I did want to let this comb get uh, a little bit hotter uh, than 
uh, before to show some of the people who were saying that it doesn't straighten or it doesn't get uh, hot enough to show this tone gets very hot if you uh, give it time to get hot. I'm using the back of the cone to get my roots straighter. Kind of cut my back uh, piece of hair that I have braided up there. I don't have a really straight line back there. Okay. Clean my comb off. Okay, and I have this section done. Okay. I'll clean this comb off, my ceramic one. I'm going to kind of rub it down, make sure it's not getting uh, too hot. I'm just going to get my hair here, use some scrunchies, and that's the ceramic and the brass.